What are known this with the low blow and Southwest Fight News? Here with Josh Torres. That is a deal. Man, it feels great. All the hard work paid off. The third time, you said it was the charm the whole time. So, is, it, is that what was running through your mind the whole time, or Absolutely. did you ever think of the other fights? Absolutely. You know, I called it from the beginning, and when I was in there, you know, when there was times that I felt hurt, I knew I had to dig deep. I knew how bad I wanted that green belt. And I made it mine. It seemed it took you a little bit to kind of get warmed up in the fight. The first three rounds may have gone his way. So is there a reason for that, do you feel? Or? Yeah, well, they told us that they were going to give us 30 minutes after the third fight. Come to find out, they only gave us about 10, 15 minutes. So, I mean, we we're barely putting on our gloves when he, they said he was walking out to the ring. So we had to yeah. hurry up and warm up. So I think that played a little factor. I think we could have warmed up a little bit more and, and got off to a quicker start. But, you know, it all worked out our way. So... We're just happy with the victory. You, you developed a pretty good rhythm in the first, I guess, in the middle four or five rounds. Uh, did you feel the speed advantage? Absolutely. Once I started warming up, uh, took a couple of the shots. I knew that I could block the majority of them because he was throwing wide. So I knew at that point that I could, you know, go in and use my game plan. When did you feel he was slowing down? Um, probably like the seventh or eighth round. I, I felt him gas out a little bit. Then they announced the scores and he came out firing in the ninth. And then he uh, got a little bit winded after that again, and that's when I took over. How weird was it for the scores to be announced, and were you completely aware of what was going on when they were announcing them? Or? Um, it wasn't new to me because they did it last time as well, only mm. this time I was able to hear it in the corner. Yeah. So I was aware. I knew that after the fourth, I think I was down on a couple of the scorecards because of the slow start. So I knew I had to pick it up, and that's what I did. Yeah, the ninth round almost felt like there, you know, there was a turn almost for the worst, so he got rocked you a few times. Yes. How hard did he hit you, and how bad were you hurt in that ninth round? You know, he buzzed me a couple times, but hey, we're self value raised, man. That's what we do. We take hits and we give hits back. <laughs> there was one, I think, the end of the maybe fifth or sixth round, both of you guys caught each other with an over the top right. Was there a flash or something from both of you guys? Because you both just awkwardly stared at each other and didn't even throw a follow up punch. Probably. There was a few times, you know, that. And we both took a couple hits. I mean, it was a real fight. Yeah. And that's what championship fights are all about. You know, I'm just happy that we put on a great show for the yeah. fans. And again, what's it mean to finally have this green belt? Man, it just feels amazing. I can't wait to, you know, show the kids, go to other gyms, go all the, to the amateur fights and just be an inspiration and tell them, hey, you know, all the hard work. I started off fighting on the ditch banks and now I have a green belt on my shoulder, so you're, you can do it too. Your new WBC USMBC champion, Josh Torres. Congratulations. Hey, thanks guys. Thank you for all your support, man.